Hello everyone, Son of Beast here. Welcome back to the second game of the Stanley Cup Playoffs of the NHL 23 on EA Sports. This next matchup, as the Bolts have already made a lead over to the Leafs with an amazing score, 4-1. But now, the next matchup, as the Winnipeg Jets have extended their lead 2-0 over the Wilds. But for the problem is that the Wilds are trying to face was a difficult strength to try to pull it back and try to revenge their run. Their Canadian team of the Jets are turning out to be one of the best in the wild card chain. And they could be going for the upset in the third game to go with that one and the fourth game if they win it all. But in that most of the cases on this game, it does turn out to be the same like no one else has ever done it before. Right now, the Wilds are at Winnipeg to face against the Jets. Right now, the extension of this one is 2-0 over the Wilds for the Jets. Now, to take you from the commentary, we have another one to keep your eyes on. The next commentary I will have is OJ, and he will be able to take over with Fan and Life Rain here at the Canada's Place Center in Winnipeg. I'll be back with the post-game show. See you guys later after this game. Hello everyone, OJ here, and we are at Canada's Life Century. The Jets, at home, against the Wilds in Game 3. Opening face-off, ready to get started here in Canada. The Jets take their possession, and we are underway. The courtesy lineup is being as followed. For the Jets, we have is Kyle Connor. That it's Morrissey into the outside. Dumelo right outside, right outside. Then across the gear we have is Wheeler, and in the middle we have is the Bios. The starting goaltender for the for the Jets is Hellebike. Hellebike is really doing what he has told. When this game comes into a better uh, offensive position, he really can try to take over it for a wild save with his run, and definitely he's one of the best. Here's Wheeler as he definitely played here before for the last game of the, of the playoffs, his regular season was definitely turning out one of the best of this game. How did this really come along as, uh, as it turned out to be one of the goals there in life break? Well, let's say about this one, you know, there's one way to talk about it. I say that, that Wheeler was definitely out on a run. With the move, it was quick. But sometimes, however, you can get to the experience of how well he has done. The most movement I would like to see how well he has done is try to keep the brick game in, in control and go back with the offense and try to pick up the run. I know it's very hard, but believe me, they definitely done it the right way to keep it alive. Dumelo will keep it outside. Scheffler is out there. Starting goalie is, is Marc-Andre Fleury. Now we have Zuccarello. Across the here is Hartman. And it's Kaprizov with the puck. Stopped by Hellebayu. Lowry gets down. Ellers takes his puck right here as Winnipeg is back in offensive zone. Mitretto. Bad pass. That goes back over to Dylan. Now I gotta fix that one here because that needs to be right on a target line. Don't have to be out there just like you never seen it. With the pass, it's tipped over by Feligno. Spurgeron's got the puck. The Wilds are in offensive zone. Take the smash! Stop by Hellebayu! Poligno with the puck. There it's neck outside. To Poligno! Stop by Hellebayu! He will hold the puck here, which is only 15 38, 6 to go. With the look of Hellebayu, he has this x ray vision to keep that one right in precision. He has an accurate precision to make that one with the saves. His most of the goal needs to keep on going it from here. I'll be keeping an eye on Hellebayu for the, for the next save. Guys, back to you. Here in the corner, with the shot, stopped up by Marc-Andre Fleury. Foligno, Minnesota back into the offensive zone, taking it into Jets territory. With the shot, that goes off wide. Sandberg's got it across to Milano. In the wing, with the move, shot, rebound, stopped again by Marc-Andre Fleury. Gives it to Lowry, back over to Schmidt. Smith swings to Sandberg. Shot! Tipped off of the goalpost. Coleman's got the puck here right behind the net. 
Now Manalian. Smith, right back outside. Right over to Smith. Smith, passes broken up. Nyquist got the puck here in offense zone. Take it past the Guru with the shot. Love saved by Halabayuk. Now Lowry, take a smash hit. Icing is whistled as right now we got a stop in play. Get ready for the faceoff. Players are set, ready to take the faceoff puck. With me and Light Brain, no score yet in this game. Guru wins it. Middleton, blocked off by a Coleman. That's a great easy offense of the call. With the defense, very tough one to keep your eyes on the puck. You never know what's just going to be coming up like that. So you got to make sure you keep your eyes on the drive. Scores! Schmidt with the first goal in the playoffs. Nate Smith able to reach out for the cross from the crossbar really turned out to be that his shot was right in it. That was Smith. He was able to keep up with his, with his team. Because of his own ability was keeping it right from the offense, he has it more time and has that one a good shot to keep an eyes open on the target. He's really well at it guys. I'll be keeping an eyes here on uh, Mitch to keep it going. Back to you. With the score one nothing, here's Scudero. And Manelan takes it over. Winnipeg's back to the offense zone to pick up their steam. Stenlin lost the putt. Dylan back outside. Back to Pion. New switch up change. Middleton went down. We'll have to carry offside of the play with only 11.47 to go. Players are set, ready to take the neutral faceoff position. Winnipeg Jets have one nothing over the Wilds. Looking for a big comfortable lead to extend the run of a 3-0 series, the Canadian teams are pulling up the pressure. Indeed they do. They've really got a lot of it to do, to do it all over again. Tobias, shot, stopped by Flurry. Morrissey back to DeMello. Take the shot, that goes wide off the net. To DeMello, blings off to Tobias. Swings back to DeMello, over to Morrissey. Back to DeMello. Shot to Bry. Easy out with the shots. He can't find a goal anywhere. There's Spurgeon back over to the Zuccarello. Zuccarello in the wing. Finds Hartman. Shot stopped by Zalabai. Goal back inbound scores. Hartman with the first goal in the postseason. They now tie it up. It's easy to call that Hartman was able to pick up his rebound. After Spurgeon was taking it with the assist, he had it right in it. He was able to go right around Halabayuk, trying to put it a stop. But it was not enough to keep the momentum to try to squeeze him out from the other side of it. It's very that tricky to keep it over and around the net and try to stay out. Here's Ellers with the puck. After do that, here's DeMello. Move around the middle. Rebound the circle and stopped by Gustafsson. Right now, Gustafsson is the is the first of a player that will be playing here for the postseason. Now the players are in offense, ready to take control. Stripel wins the faceoff. Pionk will have to try to regroup here on offense. Yeah, easy to call that one here. They're really not hopeful. Can't lose that one. It's control. Shaw on the other side. Plinks the puck. Back to Nadrader. Reeves has the puck here on offensive control. Stifle trying to put it back. Reeves has it, in, has it inbound. Try to poke it. Reeves. Shot. Stopped by Hellebayu. Scooped the ball on the board by Dylan. Try to take the puck, but it's Shaw missing. Now he moves over to Stifle. Go on the attack, running center of the ice. Stenlin with the puck. Right in the middle, Scuffler. That's off the target. Now he's off over again to Pionk. Stenlin with the puck. He's off to Pionk, back to Mid Island. Shot! Stop again by Gustafsson. 
Trying to take the puck away. Stenland has it back. Back to Dylan. Swing back to Pion. Pion swings back to Dylan. Minellan trying to get the puck. Holdy has it cross right now in the offense zone. The Wilds are back into the offense zone in their position. Trying to take the poke check. Now it's Burr with the puck. The Jets regain their offensive zone in the offensive territory. Gives it to Smith. With a shot. Gustafsson stop. That will stop the play with 6.16 to go. Passing the mid-period in first. With the close call, the two in between we have his fan. With Griff Kaposov, he has good wheels to take over from in the, in the lane. He has a run around the puck. And without control of the offense, he has a big game here on the board. He will be keeping an eye on here for the up and man with the advantage. And taking over from the backhand from the other side. I'll be keeping an eye on Kaposov, Kaposov with the puck saving inbound. Back to you guys. Here's Schmidt back the offensive zone. The middle! That one's bumped out and it's Gustavuson save. Middleton recovering the puck over to Hartman. Hartman trying to race forward. Shot went wide. Tobias kicks it over to Sambo. Now the recovery is on, is on Schmidt. Sambo with the puck, flings the puck over again to the wild side. And a late penalty call for the Wilds. We'll have a man advantage to kick it over. Ah, easy that one. That might be a holding call or an interference call. That could be a hard one to take. Slash is called on Matt Zuccarello. And the first power play is coming up for Winnipeg Jets. Teams are ready to take the offense zone. The power play is on as the score is even. Lowry wins the faceoff. Morrissey! Oh, shot went wide. Here's Connor with a move. Stop again by Gustavuson. Connor takes it back. Yeah, easy to call that one here because he was able to take his offense. Offside is the call for Minnipeg. Now the players are set, ready to take the inbound. Now here's Broden. Flings the puck. Connor will take it over again. Now here's Wheeler. Gives off to Lowry. Over to the Dreader. With his own entry. Wheeler! Back in shot! Rebound Lowry! Stop again by Gustafsson. Outside's Connor. Flyers! That's rejected. One minute left right now for the Jets power play, and only 3.30 to go in the first period. The Jets are trying to take it back in. Guderov trying to poke it away. And a penalty calls for the Jets. The van advantage is over, and right now Blake Wheeler is in the penalty box. And easy to call that one here. It's not very good. They try to keep it over for the Jets. You don't want that one to come out here right in a player to go with the slash call. You want to make sure you have a nice, easy inbound to try to take it over again. Four on four is where the play comes in. After that, it will be a power play for Minnesota. Skyfeller wins the faceoff. Now the Jets are on the up, on the man advantage. Trying to look for the inbound. 23 seconds to go. Dumelo, that's stopped by Eric Sinek. Matt Zuccarello's ready to come out. And now the power play is on for Minnesota after a penalty kill for Matt Zuccarello. His play was definitely very that tough. You don't say because of this one really turns out to be like a tough one in the game. You don't want that one to be trying to like keep in range of the motion. He's got a great one to take. Stopped by Hellebayu. Stop the play with 2 or 3 to go in the first period. It's still a tie game. Players are set. Ready to take the face off in the offense zone. Stenland wins it. Hartman with the puck. He's a Dakota and he scores. It's Hartman with the goal. That's his second game of the playoffs. 
And now a power play goal for the Wilds, and now they have it up in the lead. Great deflection here for Gutero. As for that one, Harmon was taking the good shots here and trying to take it inbound. He was able to do as one of his own time. Because of that one, the player is keeping inbounding with an alive moment. It's not really that hard to try to regain the possession. But don't be mindful that Harmon was able to take two goals in the playoffs this game. And with a good pass to Gutero, he had that one here on the better side of the angle. I'll be keeping an eye here on Harmon if he has his three goals cut down. Guys, back to you. Wheeler racing towards the puck. Trying to take the pass. Wheeler swings off to Connor. Quarter of the shot. That's stopped again by Eric Zinek. Pass the minute of play in the first period. Sporgy on with the puck. Minnesota regaining the group on offense zone. Tobias with the steal. Foligno back the other way. Sporgy on, flings to Boldy. Gives it to Middleton. Back to Sporgy on. Over to Foligno. Poked it away. Smith. And here's Connor. With the time? Oh, stopped again by Gustafsson. Easy with the play, you just can't help it. And that will end the first period. A power play goal for Hartman. A deflection went in. We'll get to the second period when we come back. Off to the second period. Right now, the lead is, comes up for the Minnesota Wilds, a 2-1 lead. Now we're ready for the second period as a clear sea of ice, and we are ready. Morrissey, carrying a block pass over to DeMillo. Now finds Wheeler. As he was in a penalty box, he was unable to make that one a run and try to pick up the play. Yeah, the inbound was not really that successful. Because of a moment was really putting up a lot of hard pressure, they were gaining control out of him. They have nowhere to go. And because of that point, they can't be losing it from the inside of the deck. With the shot, it's stopped again by, uh, by Gustafsson. Dubaia swings to DeMello. Trying to take the play. And it's stopped again by, by Gustafsson. Now DeMello over again to Wheeler. Wheeler swings. Backhander. Stopped by Spurgeon. Middleton trying to hold it. Connor scores. Makes it snap in a tiny game up by two. Oh man, the back to back switch. Kyle Connor has it. Wow. I can't believe it. That wraparound sweat of a shot was turned out big. That was a make a move out of it. Said super. I have that back. The Jets come back to play a game for tying up by two. And now with the player, this one, Kyle Connor has his first goal in game three. Right now he has five goals in the playoffs in this game. Schneidfeller passes over to Hen Dredder. Now here's Dylan. Back to Peon. Take the shot that slings out. Foldy with the puck. Dredder trying to fight back for the rebound. In the corner now is Schneidfeller. Schneidfeller looking it over. Keeps the Ellers. Pad passing of the puck with a shot. Ellers over to Piong. No much congestion on that one as it's stopped again by Gustavitsi. Foligno with the puck. Now they're inside the offensive zone. Baldy shot. Stopped again by Helabayu. Winnipeg scouted across in the offensive zone in the Wilds territory. Trying to take it back again. Coleman with the stop. Oh, wow. That Dumba put in a lot of battle and fight, fight over on Lowry. Yeah, he's already been kind of clearing. Like a WrestleMania in, a, in the center of the ice in the corner of the wall. With a bash over it. Try to take back over is Lowry. Now Broden has the puck. Slings to Addison. Barron by over to Nyquist. Finds Scudero. And it's taken over by Sandberg. Barron has the puck. Pass to Sandberg. Over around the back. Shot! It's the off again of Gustavitsen. Sandberg with the puck. Back to DeMello. 
stopped by Gustavitsen. And we'll get the whistle in play as we have 14.28 to go. With the barrel to play, it's now a tie game, a 2-2 score of the Jets and Wilds. Now it's, now it's the wing. Here's Stenlin. Playing the board up over it again to Gustavitsen. Gustavitsen shot! Scores! Gustavitsen! His first goal in the playoffs! Ely Rashada able to make that clear to go right around the puck. When he has a man advantage around him, he was able to pick up his momentum. On that play with Gustavitsen, he was able to do one of his best. He's got a great contact right toward the net and had a right from after Stenlin and Gamello. When he has his right timing, he has to get over with the game. He had a great feed. Take the inbound and take it from the other way. I'll be keeping an eye on Gustafsson with the puck and back the other way. Guys. Klingberg right over again to Zuccarello. Your team is back in the lead by one. Now here's Hartman. Only two goals in the playoffs. In game three, now here's Gufus Gustafsson. No, been a little WrestleMania down on the corner. Milanian right towards the puck. Try to give a diagonal pass to Stalin. Oh, great quick save there by Gustafsson. Minnesota back in the offensive zone in the Jets territory. Hartman, take the pad and Halabayuk save. Tobias, pass broken up. Icing is whistled on Minnesota to Winnipeg, as right now the faceoff's coming up. Players are ready to take him back in the offense zone. It's the Jets, one lead, a 3-2 lead over the Wilds. Now Zuccarello wins it. With the puck, that pass broken up. Nyquist, shot off again by Salabayu. That score keeping out of pride of that one here, keep it easy. Middle Island, trying to move around it, shot, stopped by Gustafsson. Over to Gudero. Gudero with the puck, moving in and out. Nyquist with the puck. Moves to Sundquist. Shot is stopped again by the pad save. Skypiller over to the Dreader. 11 minutes to play in the second period in, the, in game three. Ellers, by Sheffield! What a blast, man! Stopped again by Gustafsson with a glove save. Now back to another one. Pass is taken out. Kudero with the face. Looks towards Sundvest. And stopped by Sandberg. Over to the Dreader. Trying to put back on Sandberg. Back to the Dreader. Find Sandberg. Shots the puck and shuts him down on offense slap shot. It's clearly because of that one, Gustafsson's got more room with a clear vision sight. He's able to go with the shot. And that one, he had a big save right toward the net. Ericsson Eck wins the faceoff. Trying to put a deck down. Sporgian back to Feligno. Feligno looking it over. Pass deep to Boldy. Looking over. Erickson Eck with the shot. Oh, hit the goal post. Well, that was a close call in there. That was tough. Oh, man, that was really like a tough one. Almost would have deflected in there. But that stayed out of the net. Now they're ready for the faceoff with 918 left to go. Now he tied it. Throw into Feligno. Stopped by Halabaya. Coleman back the air way into the offense zone. Trying to pick up a bound. No penalty called on Minnesota. Trying to look over the offense. Trying to make a move. Barron trying to hold on to it. Broden recovers the puck and Feligno on the other hand. Scooped up along the board by Morrissey. Tobias over again to Baroon. Baroon on a fast break. Shot. Stopped again by, by Gustafsson. Dumelo with the shot. Take the slap shot with the rebound. That goes up again with Gustafsson. Glove save. 
Hold the play inbound with 7.44 to go in the second period. Players are ready to take inbound. The score and the lead for the Jets at 3-2 over the, over the wild shot. Tobias wins it. Now the team faceoffs in the lead. Wheeler! And no penalty called for Minnesota as the poke checked away. Peppers off right in the offense zone. Now back to Wheeler. Wheeler with the fast wheels. One, one. Connor. Oh, wow. Broden took it over again. He's really well on that one. Because if Adam Gustafsson would have helped him out and tried to cover in bounds, that was like a good stop. He outstopped with the shot block. Neutrator has it out. Now he gives over to Kempersov. Moves quickly over to Klingberg. Back to Zuccarello. With the block. Dylan with the puck. Now he moves to Ellers over to Skyfeller. Skyfeller now into the offense zone. Find Stewart. Shot. Club saved by Gustafsson. We'll hold up a whistle play with 538 to go in the second period. Players are set, ready to take inbounding. The play of this one coming in with a long with a lot of hits for the Wilds. And this one was turning out to be very close to the call. Now Addison has a cup. Schneidfeller recovers. Nidrunner! Ooh, good job made, but it's missed up with a save opportunity run for Gustav Sen. Yeah, easy to call that one. An easy save really turned out to be what he did. Oh, blocked it, but it rejected up again. Addison back over to Nyquist. Under five minutes to go in the second period of the game. Sandberg gives off to Seifeller. Off to Minellen. Minellen looking over a bound. With a shot. It stops again by Gustafsson. Sandberg over to Smith. Look out! That shot deflected off again at the goaltender. Stenlund. Try to give it back over to Run. Over to Manelli. Try to stop the run. Morrissey pushes out of play. Front of Blue to Blue. Now they back into the offense zone. Manelli. Kick the puck over back to Seifella. DeMello. Back to Morrissey over again. Make a move to Sunlund. Recovers the puck. Sunlund shot. Hit the post and not this time, Skilverson said. Now he will stop the play with 3.11 to go in a second. Now with the win to Middleton. Finds Eric's net. The Wilds regain their group to the neutral zone in the offense zone. Off to Feligno. Shot. Stopped again by Eric's net. Hello, by the guy, Shinnett. Now Stenland gives over to Gustafsson. That is out of reach, and Spurgeon takes it over. It's easy to call that one, you know, drop out of the zone, and reaching out too soon. It's not really that a competition who really wants to give that one a wide to reach the puck and then recover it again. He has to look carefully in that point in range. That has to give him a better goal and needs to get there fast. Pinot shot! That hits the stick off again by Gustafsson. Arnsenet closes out. Lowry swings over to Buron. Under 90 seconds to play, it's Buron. Try to kick it to Lowry. With a shot. Wrist around the net, and it's stopped again by Gustafsson. Piak outside, last minute to play in a second period of the game. Buron's giving a fling off to again to Coleman. Lowry, up and over the net, trying to rebound it, and it's stopped again by, by, Hel by Gustafsson. Erickson Eck with the puck. Trying to give it back over to the other hand. Sandberg's got the puck here across the offense zone. Tobias on the swing. Rebound by Rick Connor. Connor put it back. Zuccarello. Kamasov trying to go with the dust beater. Some shot stopped by Halabayu. And that's the end of a second period. Kusovsen with the slap shot of a goal and finally dug it in. Now they have the lead, 3-2.
third period underway next. It's the third period. As the time comes down to wire, it's a three for the Jets and two for the Wilds. Well, we hope everybody's enjoying their part of the game for the second. As right now, this was an a, incredible performance from for another Canadian versus USA matchup. This one was a tough one. And be honest with you, you like rain, it is a tough one to try to declare with the winner to claim it the victory in game three. Yeah, exactly. And to tell you about this one, this was not enough to make the option to go for Morrissey and the team to try to like go back to the offense zone. They want to like try to pick up the play and inbound and then go do it all and run it again. They've got to try to do this one more because if they're not playing enough, they have to try to figure it out if they wanted to go with the pass or a slap shot. I mean, this is very a difficult decision. they got to keep it going and go right around it. That's blocked over. Dubias with the puck. Connor receives one. Takes a shot. That's stopped again by Gustafsson. Capisol in the wing. Trying to give it to Hartman. That's stopped again out and flamed out. Clears around the deck. Icing is whistled here for Winnipeg as the faceoffs coming up. Now with the play inbound, the shots in the game was certainly 20, 48 for the Jets and 20 for the Wilds. Now Rexon Egg wins the faceoff. Middleton blocked up by Connor. By Ellers, I should bet. Sporgion right toward the middle of the faceoff zone. Now back to Ellers. Try to give it off to Tobias. Tobias recovers it. Firing the puck over to Connor. Connor swings to Morrissey over to DeMello. DeMello shot. Scores! That's his two goal performance in game three. They now extend 4 2 over the Wilds. What a clean shot! That's a great position that he was able to do it from here. And with Gustafsson trying to deflect it, it was off again. They were not really picking it up already. The Jets extend their lead two over the Wilds two. In this one, with Pia fires back to Ellers. Their team is like catching the break out there. They do. They've really shown their offensive with the spirit run, so they keep an eye on the deck. So they've really got to keep it on going. If you're turning with us over the exit interview, coming soon will be the floor for the next one to keep your eyes peeled on for the player and the inbound. Also, with that one for the contestant of, of Nickel, or in Paintbrush, I meant, with that one, Paintbrush will be up there very soon, so that will also be coming very soon in the game of the exit interview after the elimination in episode 12 of the Anime Insanity Invitational. If you want to stick with an update, go ahead and subscribe to Adam Animation Epic, and we'll see how the creators do with the interview to take it over. Now here's Broden. Under 15 minutes to go in the third period, Jets 4-2. to two. Nedreda back to Peon. Back to Coleman. Back to Nedreda with the puck. He fires over again to Glowry. Up to Coleman. Try to go around it. That's taken over by Sunquest. Moves it to Gudera. The Wilds regain their group on offense. With the attack, Sunquest stopping. Glove saved by Hellebayer. He's doing great. Offensive run is taking a lot of time for his effort. Baron lost the puck. Dive quest with the puck. Fires the puck up aboard. Coleman trying to bottle it. Dylan has the puck now. Now back to Lowry. Winnipeg back to the offense zone. He swings back to Baron with a shot. Stanley stop again by Gustafsson. Smith to Sandberg. Kick the puck. Smith. That's blocked up as Sunvis takes the deflection. Minnesota back in the offense zone with only 12.25 left to go. Shot to pluck it off again. Stand on to Manalek. 
Madeline with the puck. Move around the middle. Rebound scores! Gustafsson with the goal. Oh, that put back in there. Very well done for that one. You see what the puck is going through. That Gustafsson was able to pick up with the rebound. And then for the puck from behind, that was an excellent feed to take the inbound to extend their run. The Jets are on the roll. Gustafsson made that one two goals after Millennium with the shot. Taking the rebound and put it back in. That was a, a terrific play. The terrific offense has turned out to be one of the bestest, guys. I'll be keeping an eye on him for Gustafsson if he has three to take it inbound to have a hat trick. Back to you guys. Now back to the offense zone in the Jets territory. Hartman! Block the shot. Sandberg with the puck for cover. Trying to take it back. Zuccarello goes down. Schmidt swings to Gustafsson. Winnipeg back to the offense zone to pick up the steam. To Connor. Swings to Wheeler. No man opener with the shot. Connor is pass broken up. Hartman back the air away. We're going 10 18 to go. Cuppets off. Hartman! Oh, what a stop made by Hellebayer. Easy with the call on that one. Really need to stand it out with that point. Connor on the fast break. 2 on 1. Score! DeMayos! A deflection to the goal post in the net. Extending out 6. Look at that, Connor. With wheels, finding the bias, and two assists in each game. What a make! And a play inbound. With the Jets in a, in a leading position, they're trying to get the extension to stop the run. It's a 6 2 game. Tobias wins the faceoff. The Wilds are having trouble for tonight. And there could be ending up in game four. Addison back the air away and go. Trying to make a pass. Tobias with the stop. Here's Reed. Shot stopped by Halabayu. He's really on a well behave. Because of this moment, really does turn out with success. Danilo shot blocked. Oh, wrapped around it again. Wheeler pass broken up. Reed shot stopped again by Hellebayu. Their team is on their feet. They are looking for a way to extend their leaps with a 3 0 series. They absolutely do. The Jets have never made it back into the playoffs before since 2018. And that was their time to make that one shine in. And definitely back with the game in 2021, they made it to the playoffs that far in the in Scotty and North's region. This was all that happened. And really, they did turn it to be a one of the successful of the game. One-on-one -on -one fast break. Chuck stopped by Hellebaidu. We'll hold the puck here to try to clear out at 7.32 left to play in the third. Now the players are ready to take him back in the offense zone. The Jets extend their run, a 6-2 lead over the Wilds. Nutretter in the corner. Try to fling the puck over to, to Skyfella. And an away penalty call. And we'll be giving up with a slash on the call. That will not be good as Felino is in the penalty box. There are too many penalty kills for, for Minnesota and a clean one for, for the other team of Winnipeg. They've really turned out to be one of the successful to try to stop the run. Indeed they do. Really picked it up like they have. Jets on the power play. And right now, the Wilds have already made the power play, but now they have their shot to take the power play goal and tie it. Fling the puck over. Pion covers the puck around the board. Deep pass to the Dreader. Oh, uh, here's the Dreader. Shot! Rebound by Lowry. Go to Pion. Stop by Gustafsson. Trying to hold the puck here with only 6.35 to go. The teams are ready to take the offense zone in the, in the offense territory. Skyfeller trying to hold the puck.
Looks over to Hartman. One ten to go in the Jets power play. Back to Ellis. Ellis trying to regroup. He's on a fast break. Could go for it. Oh, Gustafsson did settle up with this score. They try to stop the play. Inbounding very tough. Very really didn't see that one going. Place the puck over. Connor back to Seifeller. 40 seconds left to play for the Jets power play and 540 left for the third period. Pass broken up. Broden. Ellers trying to revenge it. Knife quest with the puck. With the shot, stopped by Hellebayer. Looks like he's ready to come out of the penalty box. And the Jets are unable to make it clear with the power play as they already has expired. Even the strengths out there, they've really been facing off with a struggle. But now with that one, the Wilds seem to be having the roughest game of the season. And that one really did turn out to be one of the best, better of the play. Just like the regular season, they, the Bruins did beat against the Wilds. It's a tough one to clear it out. Here's Spurgeon. 4-13 left to go in the third period. Wheeler passes to Piyak over to Lowry. Lowry! Oh boy! What a little diving release here as Wheeler will try to save it. Hold on to your seat. It's very not tough to be honest. Almost could have been a red penalty. Deflect it off again. Minnesota back into the offense zone to take the pressure inbound. Knife quest stopped by Hellebayou. He's saving a lot of moves, energy saving level. As right now the Jets are regaining their offensive run onto the third game. Now nah, here's Dylan. Trying to pass to Stunlin. Back to broke it up. Now over again. Broden with the puck. Stopping a night quest. 2.30 left to go in the third period. Trying to put an inbound. Stopped again. Gustafsson recovers the puck. Their chance is on their feet as the time is rolling down to two minutes to go. Payon, save it. That pass broken up by DeMolo. Trying to clear out the deck. They're going to need to try to fix it right ahead. Here's Stenland. Now back to Piot with 90 seconds to go. And they will have to take the time to take the pass over and under. Hartman has the puck back. Now has Kuppers off. Down to the last period to go. The time is ticking down. They are really well able to face off of that one. They try to top it away. Fake the shot. Back, back pass to Stenland. Gustafsson trying to race toward the Hartman, but it's off. Gustafsson, Morrissey. And they will have to reinforce the regroup here again. DeMello pass to Marmelin. 30 seconds left to play in the third period. Let it just wait, let it clock down, because the time is almost up. Zuccarolo, playing the bag. And it's Morrissey with the puck. Fans are showing support, and they're going to get the third win for the Jets to win over the Wild score. Popped inbound. Foligno. Oh, put that goal back in. Foligno has his goal, but right now it's a 6-3 run, but the time is ticking away. Well, that's for Foligno for that shot. Can't be able to do with that one again. The Wilds are putting up a 6-3 run to end the game, and with that one, 3.9 seconds to go in the third. And Eric's net, and Boldy will hold the puck here. So that ends the game with a, a great run for the Jets. 6-3 is your final score. They extend the lead series, 3-0. They are a tough team. Make a playable inbound, they have it all down. We also look to the fans for the Jets at the Canada's Life Century. And it's been a great night here since we have seen them made that far. And now this could be a win or go home for Minnesota Wilds. Yeah, that's true. Because they need to get this thing right back on the board.
to our OJ along with Library and Band. This has been a presentation of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. There now, it's time to go to Santa Beast to close the game. See you guys next time. OJ, thank you very much. As for this one, your final score. The Jets extend their series 3-0 over the Wilds. This could be it for the Wilds if they don't win the game. Now time for three star players of the game. Third star goes to Gustafsson with two goals. Only put a rebound out there after a pass is made around Gustafsson. The second star goes to Dylan DeMello. A goal assist in the hit. Where he did turn out when he had that one on, he tried to fling it across right toward the goal post. What a play for DeMello. And your first star goes to Kyle Connor. Two assists in the goal with the fast wheels and get the pass over again to the other hand. So that is it for the game. I hope you enjoyed the, this part of the Stanley Cup playoffs in the Western Conference of the U.S. vs. Canadian team matchup in the Stanley Cup playoffs in Game 3. Now if you're tuning us here for the next game, we've got you covered more as the Bruins take on against the Penguins at Pittsburgh to go for the ready for the rematch to take it over again. And with the total shots, it was high. The hits was totally insane on the Wilds. Then 12-40 was a time on attack. 81 and 92, really high and low average. 17 to 15, very not that bad for Minnesota and Winnipeg Jets to try to stop the play inbound to put it back into the game. And only one power play goal for the Minnesota Wilds as they're really trying to keep the pressure on here in control. So with that one, I hope you all enjoyed the game. If you're tuning in with the Bruins and Penguins, we got you more covering coming up underway. So with that one, Son of Beast is out of here. Thanks for watching and peace out everyone for a while as the Stanley Cup playoff of NHL on EA Sports style. Thank you and have a great day, everyone. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.